Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Next Up Nova, back with another Destiny 2 video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a very, very powerful weapon. The Vex Mythoclast is one of the most iconic weapons in Destiny history. It returned to Destiny 2 in the Vault of Glass Raid, which launched on May 22nd of this year. At first, during Season of the Splicer, it really wasn't that prevalent in any aspect of the game, but in Season of the Lost, it received a huge buff. The TWAB from August 19th, 2021 covered exactly how the Vex was being buffed. It reads as follows. PvE damage bonus increased by 40%. Range stat increased to be near best in class for high impact auto rifles. Increased stability stat. Reworked catalyst to grant stability and damage after a kill. Increased rate of fire from 360 to 390. Reduced linear fusion rifle mode charge time from 820 to 533. Same as standard linear fusion rifles. No longer loses overcharge stacks on stow except when in linear fusion rifle mode. Not only did it get buffed, but the new 5th column particle deconstruction mod in the artifact this season works with the mythic class, meaning the weapon has a guaranteed crit damage on hit and also massively increased damage with each shot with the mod. That only applies in PvE. This means that it becomes one of the best PvE weapons this season. I made a video the other day testing the DPS of this weapon versus Atheon if you'd like to check that out by the way. Now, moving on to the PvP side of things. The buffs also make this thing incredible in all aspects of PvP, whether that be competitive or quick play. The increase in rate of fire makes the TTK much faster, allowing it to compete with some of the best in the game. Adding on to that, the increased stability stat makes it very easy to control. The linear fusion rifle's charge time going down from 820 to 533 allows it to compete with things like Arblast and the recent addition to the game, Lawrence Driver. Now, let's test damage numbers. It goes around 36 to the head from our tests, and the linear fusion overcharge mode was doing about 464. We tested it whilst he was in a stag rift, and it did around 396 to the head. Having a weapon that I feel comfortable using no matter what game that I'm playing makes life so much easier. Now, let's play some Crucible and test out how this weapon performs after the buff. Alright guys, we're on Distant Shore. We're going to be uh, testing out the Vex Mythoclast in PvP. Gonna get some distance here, make sure we don't get too close to them. They are close enough to make a push though. So it was hitting about, tw was hitting about 27 from that range. Got one. We're gonna push B. Uh, we got it killed there. So this thing is very, very effective in uh, PvE and PvP this season with the particle deconstruction mod. As I was saying earlier in the video, so we got one there, and uh, yeah, particle deconstruction does not actually work in PvP, but we got one there, but we did get killed unfortunately from his teammate. Try to get some position over here. Seems like a pretty passive game we've got going. Didn't get that kill unfortunately, but gonna heal down here. Got one. Get a nade off. So now we have overcharge, so we're gonna test out how that does. Got one. I'm gonna get away from this grenade. Versus the auto rifle type mode. Got a hit there, but we didn't kill unfortunately. Got one. All right, so that's all of our linear fusion bullets. Got one. Need one more kill for another overcharge stack. Got him down. And we're gonna insta reload with the overcharge. Got one, that's pretty clean. Oh, unfortunate, we got killed by the super. We had a pretty good street gun, but this thing is very powerful. I'm definitely gonna be taking it into trials. Um, definitely gonna be using it in trials, absolutely. Extremely effective. Uh, got some hits on one. We're gonna, gonna be careful. 
Got one. Gonna have to run away now. We got another overcharge. Oh, unfortunate. Wow, that melted me, man. We're gonna get a pretty good nade off there, hopefully. That arc soul is uh, really strong. We're gonna have to get out of here. Oh, got a nice double there. Oh, man. Oh, unfortunate. That was all my bullets. These arc souls are very much melting, though. Ooh, gotta get out. Move over here, pop a rift and heal really quick. There is some stasis there. Another overcharge. Oh, unfortunate, man. It was, a good, it was a pretty good shriek again going there. Obviously, the overcharge perk is ridiculously broken. Um, it's guaranteed like 400 plus damage. Uh, we got another one down, but we did get teamed again, unfortunately. Yeah, this, this thing is really, really disgusting. Really, really good. We have a bubble, so we're, we're going to completely dip out of there. Uh, we could possibly get the kill there. We did. Sweet. Ah, oh, man, almost got away. We did get a, a, a nice little double kill right there. We're gonna position at B, because they I think they are close to losing their bubble. If, got one down. Okay, we're gonna have to cap the zone. Because they do have a power play here. I'm not sure where that guy is. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to position ourselves completely out of there. I'm alone, so I'm gonna float up and away. Got one. Quickly dip out. Gonna have to maybe get our overcharge perk again. Oh man, I got landfall again. That's unfortunate, but yeah, bottom tree dawn blade is, is really powerful. Getting killed by that a lot this game. Man, Vex Mythoclast, the the nerf or the buff actually made it very very strong. I'm I'm surprised. Looks like it was doing okay, so we got killed again. But we, it looks like it's doing about 17 to the head against that super. It will vary depending on the super, but against that super, it was doing about 17 to the head. So it is about a it was doing about a little under half the damage um, that it would be doing whenever they have their super activated. Oh, I thought I had the overcharge activated with my kill. Oh, we got the trade there. But yeah, this thing's TTK is really good. You just have to make sure you're hitting headshots. And I would recommend putting fusion rifle targeting on just to make sure you can have that extra accuracy in the uh, for headshots. Like you can see right there. Got a couple down. Gonna pop this. Gonna probably push around towards C. So we have overcharge, and I think the lightning grenade somehow killed me from there. That is, that range is crazy. I was doing about 32 from that range. So it's definitely a good amount of damage fall off from long range. But it is a fusion rifle, so you know. You shouldn't really expect to have too much range with it. Got one. Feels like it does have a lot of aim assist too, with the linear mode. Oh, unfortunate. 
We did. We had we got the rift animation there. That was unfortunate, but we are gonna be pushing towards B to close off this game, or actually push towards A to close off this game. Okay. Very good job. Still doing a good amount from there. Got the nice kill to close off the game. And uh, that is the Vex Mythoclast in PvP. Seems like a pretty solid option, for sure. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to slap the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And if you enjoyed, also be sure to leave a like and comment any other video ideas you would like to see in the future and any feedback and ideas you have. Anyways, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.